Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to West Texas. We are getting ready to head out for the night. Uh, we actually did a little bit of road cruising this afternoon. Found some really cool lizards, and I'm going to show that first. But it was pretty windy, so I'm going to voice over most of that, I think. Uh, but you're going to see that right now, and then we're going to go shine cuts and see what we can turn up on foot. So without further ado, here's some really cool lizards. All right, our first find was this really cool looking little western earless lizard. This is likely a female, uh, but I'm not exactly positive about that. These guys are actually phrynosomatids, meaning that they're in the same larger grouping with horn lizards. And if you like, <laughs> Stephen was getting excited about earless lizards. But if you look closely at this guy, you can kind of see the resemblance to a horn lizard. It basically looks like a horn lizard without horns and uh, a little bit less tubby. But really cool little lizards, and actually something I had never seen in this particular area. Unlike their horn lizard relatives, these guys are actually incredibly fast, although you wouldn't know it when you see them in my hand because they kind of play dead. But we ended up seeing a couple of them. This is a different individual. I think these were both females, but I'm not positive about that. We also ended up seeing some Texas horn lizards. This is a huge female, I believe, that was just running across the road. Texas horn lizards are actually a pretty high conservation concern in a lot of the state, but in West Texas they remain fairly common because of the abundance of high quality grasslands and lack of development. So it isn't too uncommon to see a handful of these in the afternoon or in the early morning hanging out in the road, and they're surprisingly heat tolerant. You'll see them as warm as the low 90s as long as the sun isn't super high in the sky. But this time of day where the sun is just starting to get close to the horizon is when we see the most. This was the second one we ended up seeing, another big adult. For whatever reason, there weren't any snakes out during the daytime hours, and we really haven't seen many snakes active during the daytime since the trip started. But I was more than happy to see a few of these awesome lizards scurry off into the sunset before we started shining cuts for the night. Well, it had to happen eventually. There's our first western diamondback of the summer. Uh, we're currently en route to where we're going to be shining tonight, so we're just going to usher this guy off the road real quick. He's doing that slow tongue flick, which means he knows we're here and is probably pretty unhappy about it. So we're just going to make sure he gets off the road and keep cruising. Hopefully there will be plenty more of these to see this summer. In fact, I guarantee you there will be. He's getting grumpy. You going to do something or just sit there and be, oh, and there it is. All right, we'll get him out of the road. After many, many hours of finding nothing, Steven has finally found our next snake. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Look at that thing. Steven's got another snake. Wow, that is cool. Bear's rat snake. That is our first one. Where was he earlier when we came by? I assume on the other side of the wall. Really cool. So the black tail went down a hole and we didn't get any more video of it, which sucks because that thing was really pretty. But now we have a nice little bear die doing the same thing, hanging out on this rock wall. But this is a juvenile bear's rat snake, maybe only, uh, I guess a year old at this point. But they look completely different when they're fully grown. And they're one of the three rat snake species we get out here. Really cool rat snake diversity in West Texas. And these guys and subox, of course, are very different from anything we have back home. So, really cool to see. These guys do kind of superficially resemble the gray rats we have back home, and I think they're actually closely related to Texas rat snakes, which are just the Texas equivalent of a gray rat. But really cool looking little snake. We're just gonna let him keep cruising, and we're gonna do the same. It's been a pretty slow night so far, but we've had a couple of snakes. Hopefully we'll be seeing plenty more though. What's up, dude? <laughs> Coming to say hi? Doing a little swiggity swooty. Really interesting looking. I, I mean, normally baby bear's rats are different looking, but that one is a little bit unusual, and I can't put my finger on why. He's just different. Really neat looking. But we're just gonna leave that guy to it and keep on shining. Might end up wrapping up here shortly though, um, and getting back out tomorrow so if we don't see anything else I will see you guys in the morning It is the next day, and uh, we're having a 
last night was pretty brutal. We didn't see anything until really late, and we were pretty much on our way home. We found that blacktail and that uh, bear trap. So tonight, we're heading south to the southern Big Bend. Hopefully, there will be at least some, some snakes out in decent numbers, but um, this area can be even more brutal than where we've been so far. So there's only one way to find out. We're going to get to it, and I will update you guys when we find our first snake or something interesting happens. So just like the previous outing, our afternoon started with a nice Texas horn lizard in the road. We actually had two at this stop, but one of them had been run over, unfortunately. But this guy was alive and well, so we moved him off the road to make sure he wouldn't get hit by a car. Look at that. It's kind of a rainbow. It's just a bow. <laughs> no rain involved. Our next find of the night was yet another Phrynosomatid. This is the round-tailed horn lizard, the least common of the two widespread horn lizards in West Texas. These guys are fantastic pebble mimics, and they look exactly like a rock when they decide to stop moving and are in an area where they're well camouflaged. Tragically, I lost this guy while I was trying to photograph him, but you can kind of see here just how much he looks like the surrounding rock. Hopefully we'll be seeing some more of these guys but they definitely don't seem as common as Texas horn lizards. Well, we haven't seen any snakes, but Sophia found a tarantula and befriended it. So <laughs> well, at least we got that going for us. All right, our next find of the night's a pretty cool one. This is a reticulated gecko, one of the coolest lizards we have out here in West Texas. This is a big, healthy adult. I just shined this girl in the cut. She is looking awesome, super ghostly, pale lizards that are about two or three times the size of our normal Texas banded geckos. Actually more than that, probably three or four times the size. They are gigantic in comparison. Think the size of a small leopard gecko. And they look like leopard geckos too because they're both eublifer, oh, they're both eublifarids, which means they have eyelids, which a lot of the geckos in the world do not. But you can tell she's got a regrown tail. It's not complete. And they'll actually wag that tail to distract you from their more vulnerable parts or predators, not me, because obviously I don't mean her any harm, but really, really awesome lizard nonetheless. They can be fairly uncommon out here, but this, this particular rock cut produces a lot of them, so hopefully we'll see a few. But I'm just going to get some quick photos of this girl, and we're going to let her go on her way. What an awesome animal. Such a cool lizard. All right, guys, Sophia just spotted our first snake of the night. Very nice looking black tail coiled up right here. We're gonna try to leave this snake as found so we don't wanna mess with it too much, but really, really pretty black tail just hanging out on top of this little rock. Looks fairly healthy too, considering how dry it is out here. Really cool to see. See, we just got a bunch of rocks here, big rock piles. Perfect habitat for these guys. So we're just gonna leave that one right there. Beautiful little black tails. Our first snake of the night at like 11:30. Pretty rough. The moth made him angry. What a good looking little snake. We're just gonna leave him to it. Keep shining. All right, Stephen has found the other species of Eublifarid we have in West Texas, so you can see what I was talking about. That is a full-grown adult, as big as they get. Obviously a pretty big size difference between these two species, but otherwise they look very similar, very similar pattern. Reticulated geckos have a lot more spotting and less of the banding, but really, really cool lizards nonetheless. Beautiful little banded gecko. This is the Texas banded gecko, Coleonyx brevis. And the other guy was the reticulated banded gecko, Coleonyx reticulatus. All right, here's our next snake of the night Stephen found. A really, really awesome little night snake. You guys have gotten to see a really nice sampling of just how diverse these guys can be in the last couple episodes because we found some really cool pink ones, 
up in the mountains. And now down here in the lower desert, we get this really faded phenotype with the really cool twin spotting. Just a really great looking snake overall. Nice and healthy too, likely even a gravid female. So snakes are moving. We're getting into some stuff. We're in some really good habitat right now. So we're going to keep at it and hopefully there will be more snakes to come. But nice looking night snake is our next find. Really cool. Here's another nice looking little tarantula. It's been a fat minute since we've seen any snakes, but it's always nice to see these guys, even if we're not finding snakes. And for what it's worth, they're usually a decent indicator that conditions are pretty good for snakes. So hopefully we'll be getting into some here soon. It's getting pretty late, but down here where it's so hot, late is the best time sometimes. All right, guys, we're starting to wind down for the night. It has been pretty slow, but the things that we have seen have been pretty cool. I'll never complain about seeing reticulated geckos. And the blacktail was super nice looking, chilled for photos. And I'll never complain about that either. But the numbers have just been very lacking. Aside from that one night, we did fairly well. It's been a pretty slow trip so far. But we're going to start making our way back to town. And if we see anything else, we'll stop. And if not, I will probably see you guys tomorrow.